Hey class, so in this video, we're going to render our cake and create our final images. Let's get started. Okay, so let's go to mode and rendering iRay. So iRay is um, Substance Painter's interactive photorealistic renderer, similar to Arnold's. It's um, by NVIDIA. And it's a really nice, um, very straightforward renderer. So if you look on the right here with our renderer settings, you can see that um, our screen resolution right now is only 1378 by 898, but that we can override our viewport resolution later once we're happy with this look, and that we can crank it up to something more like 4K. Um, iRay starts automatically when you've opened your um, iRay renderer and it runs for a max time. So by default, it's 10 seconds, but later we will crank this up to, you know, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, etc., And that will get us a much nicer render without so much noise. Um, definitely wanna make sure your Firefly filter is enabled as that will help get rid of a lot of this noise as well. What you're seeing in the backdrop is an HDRI environment map that is lighting our scene. So if you click on the display settings, you can see your environment settings. And by default, I think it's this panorama map, but we can change this to any kind of um, backdrop we like. So let's look at this Canopus grounds, which is a very orange scene. And you can see that this backdrop is more than just a backdrop. It is the lighting for the scene. So you're getting a much more orange effect on your um, cake. I'm going to change mine to, I think this Bonificio Street has kind of a nice, slightly warm light that I think goes well with my cake. All right, and you can um, adjust your environment's exposure Again, this, unfortunately, this is kind of hidden by this um, menu, but you can adjust it more or less. So a little less exposure will um, reduce some of the light in my scene. I'm gonna try maybe just like a negative one. You can also rotate the environment, so say, your environment has a very specific sunlight in it and a directionality of the shadows. You can rotate that environment so that the shadows fall in a different way on your model. Okay, now we don't really want this backdrop or this actual um, scene to be showing in our renders. We just want to use it for its light. Um, so what you want to do is turn on this dome and turn on clear color. And what clear co color is going to do is change the color of the backdrop. So it keeps all of the lighting information from the scene that you just had, but just changes the color of the background. So I'm going to do something kind of a dark gray. It also adds a ground plane to your model by default. Um, we probably should have added one when we're in Maya, but adding it with this um, renderer works really well as well. And you can change things like shadow intensity as well if you're getting some really harsh shadows that you would like to adjust. And then if we keep scrolling down, here's where our post um, effects are. And again, we can crank up that luminance if we want stronger lights. And now it makes sense to also adjust your thresholds if, um, if necessary or if it helps. Okay, so once we're relatively happy, we can keep scrolling down. Here's um, an option for showing your wireframe as well. And I think I just want to up my, um, my luminance a little bit more. 
there we go get some really nice shine off of that and thresholds if I reduce it a little more I can get a little more light that's looking nice okay so once I'm relatively happy with the look of my render, and then of course I'm going to render a few different angles and views just to make sure that I've got the one that I like the best. Um, now I can go back to my iRay and let's turn up my max time. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's override our viewport resolution. I'm going to be making these in um, 4K. That is 38. 40 by 2160 and then I'm going to crank up my max time from 10 minutes up to or 10 seconds to 10 minutes and I know this computer is actually a little on the slow side right now so I'm going to crank up my max time to 30 minutes and I'll see you back in 30 minutes with what our render looks like Okay, so we're back and um, I've done 30 minutes of rendering and I think it looks really great. Um, I'm going to save this render. It will not save unless you click on save render and save it to um, save it to your files. So make sure you do that. I'm going to show you a couple more settings. Um, so one, let's just take a look at the difference if we do no change except for change our environment map. So I'm going to go with one more that's the really orange look. And then I'm going to run this one more time and show you the difference. Okay, so um, this is the second render. So this is with the different backdrop. I did actually change the um, environment rotation as well because this um, was giving me a shadow that was kind of behind um, but I did leave the environment exposure at negative one I think maybe this would be better if it was a um, at zero so let me do one more just so you can see the differences in all these different lightings so how about the last one I'm going to do the studio lighting so this is um, just a white light so there won't be any additional color in our scene so I'll check back in a minute and for our final render, um, this is the results. You can see it's a lot less yellow and a lot more true to the original colors that I chose. Um, so definitely go with whatever kind of lighting style um, works for your particular cake and your model. And definitely take a few, um, make sure you save, take a few shots. Um, so have one that's a full cake and then one that's a close up and maybe one that's a close up of a feature in your cake. All right. I hope you have fun and let me know if you have questions. Thanks.